Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with you with another Photoshop video. Um, I wanted to show you how I wrote the swimwear. Um, I, it's a bit of a new subject for me. Um, I recently came back from Cape Town and I shot with some really, really beautiful models there. So I thought I would show you how I deal with the skin retouching. As you see, we have Maria here. She was one of my first models in Cape Town. As you see, she has a beautiful, gorgeous body. So even before post-production, I don't think there's that much work to be done. Uh, but there's just certain enhancements I'm doing to the photo to kind of make it look the way I want it to. So um, just to get into it there. Um, as you see, her skin is lovely and glowy. We gave her, we put some uh, baby oil on her to kind of make her nice and shiny. So, but as you see, like, you know, her chest area and everything is absolutely perfect. So it makes her job a bit easier. So I'm going to start with, um, maybe just going a tiny bit over the skin. I'm just going to grab a normal brush, um, just very low opacity. So maybe one, uh, and I'm just going to sample the skin on her leg. I just want to kind of uh, make the leg a bit more uniform, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go over it very slightly. Um, I don't want to use uh, the brush on too high uh, of opacity because it would kind of ruin the texture. But if you go over it ever so slightly, it's going to make everything uniform looking. So um, it's it's a very good little method. As I said, just don't overdo it because then you're going to kill the texture and you don't want to do that either. Just go over any, any area that you think might need a tiny bit of that. Okay, that's fine. That was just a kind of preliminary situation. Uh, now I'm going to go close up on her face. And if there's any imperfections, I'm just going to get rid of that. As you see, there's many, maybe one or two. Um, so it's nothing major, but just to kind of get rid of it, anything that wouldn't be wanted on the photo. Okay, now that we have that done, I want to sort out the colors and the brightness in the photos first before i do any dodging and burning because i don't want to go overboard um you know i don't want to add too much highlight and then i'm going to adjust the entire image and it's just going to look wrong so what i'm going to start with i'm just going to go to curves um and i'm just going to work on the highlights first i think it needs quite a bit so maybe around there as i said quite a good bit and then i'm going to add a tiny bit of shadows so as you see, it gives us the beautiful kind of look and it enhances the skin really, really well. Now, um, next, I am going to go and maybe add a slight um, contrast layer. So again, a curve, maybe brighten it a tiny bit and then darken it. So as I mentioned in my previous video, um, I think it's important when I was talking about black skin, it's it's kind of important to try and keep the same kind of level of cut of color because you know you could go much lighter or you could go much darker but it's kind of important to keep it kind of uniform so even if you do contrast and you brighten the skin once you apply the the actual contrast it's going to go back to the original color which is good okay so next i am just going to maybe set up a um dodge and burn layer so it's just alt new layer and soft light and fill with 50 percent gray and now I see this little area here and maybe a tiny bit of shine on the leg. So I'm just going to add that quickly. Um, as I said, Maria's skin is really good, so there isn't really much I can do. So I'm just going to get rid of the dark spot here first. And then maybe just kind of enhance the shine on the leg. It's much easier to enhance in Photoshop rather than having to build from nothing. So if you can make the photo look as good as you possibly can in before post-production, it just makes your job easier. Okay, and I'm just going to enhance the highlights in a few other places. So maybe on her fingers a tiny bit, a tiny bit on her arm, her shoulder. Maybe whatever you kind of see the light hitting her, um, you know, the highlight, just kind of go over that point. Don't go overboard because then it's just going to look kind of weird. Um, just kind of enhance a tiny bit, just build up on it, you know. Same on the face. Uh, you just have to be careful, you know, not to make it look too glossy or too, you know, sweaty or whatever. Um, so just kind of little points. Okay, so that looks quite good. I'm going to maybe add another contrast curve because I feel like I need a bit more contrast. And again, kind of brighten and darken. 
Now, um, I think the sand might be a bit yellow, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add photo filter and add cooling filter. Maybe this one. Obviously, this is way too strong. But what I can do, I can either lower the opacity on it. It'll be around here. Now I'll just check how it looks. So as you see, the image was quite warm. You only realize it afterwards. So maybe I'll put it down a tiny bit more. So maybe it's up to 30% opacity. Yeah, that balances it quite well. And I feel like the skin looks quite good um, with this kind of level of blue as well. So it should be fine. And now I am going to um, add selective color and just see about the skin tone if I'm happy with it. I kind of feel like this adds a bit of contrast and kind of makes the skin even a bit more glowy, which is awesome. Now I'm going to go back to my highlights, uh, or dodge and burn I should say, and just go over the line again. And I find when I um, dodge and burn, it's kind of nice to um, have different thicknesses of the brush. So maybe use low opacity or low flow brush and make a bigger stroke and then make a smaller stroke because then it kind of looks more realistic if you have like the kind of sharpest line in the middle and then it kind of washes off to... Uh, kind of nice and soft um, light. Now um, the only thing in the image I notice is that her neck seems to have a slightly different color to the rest of her body. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the usual color layer. So it's just a normal layer and then you click color in here and go and sample the skin maybe on her leg or even on her chest kind of whatever you feel is the most similar kind of like a reddish brown and then just go over the neck ever so slightly and i'll show you a little before and after so as you see it adds the tiny bit of redness that i think you need um i might actually go and look at her face here a tiny bit because i think it's missing a bit as well So as you see, um, I don't want to blur skin. I have no intention of, you know, kind of making skin um, kind of, you know, get rid of the texture or anything. I think the texture, um, you know, in swimmer shots is quite wonderful. So I definitely want to keep it. Now, another thing that you can do if you feel like your skin doesn't have enough texture is you can multiply the layer. Or if you've done it before, you can add another one and just go to noise and add noise. And now click on somewhere like her leg and just look at like a tiny little bit of grain. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to invert the mask just to get rid of it from the entire image. And I'm going to go just over the skin in the areas that I want a bit more texture. I'm just going to go over the area. So her leg, her both legs actually and um you know any other areas kind of for the skin um i do mask it out because i don't want it on the swimwear and i don't want it on the sand i just want it on her skin especially when it comes to face you have to be careful you have to kind of go around you know the nose or you know the mouth area and the eye area and so on so it doesn't look weird um but i find that it does add a nice amount of texture without being too obvious Okay, so I'm just going to show you a little before and after. So as you see, even though it feels like we haven't done anything, we've done quite a lot and it's quite a difference. So it's just a matter of adding a tiny bit of shine. Maybe you can even go and see if the shine is not too much. Okay, uh, and finally what I'm going to do, I'm just going to merge the two layers. So it's Command E. And now I'm just going to sharpen. So sharpen, smart sharpen, and I always go, I always look at face when I sharpen. I never look at any other parts of the body. Um, I always kind of find that the face is the most important to sharpen. So I'll kind of keep it maybe around 100, 92 is fine as well. So as I mentioned, I think the more work you do, 
pre-post-production the better for you the less work you'll have in photoshop as you see this is all i did um, and it does make quite a difference but i feel like the image even pre-photoshop was quite strong because i had the light uh, light you know i had the nice glow in the skin so it does help quite a good bit so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this little tutorial um i can go a bit more in depth about how i retouch um you know swimmer and stuff let me know if you'd like to see that um, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll have another video with you on Sunday.